I just created a third Facebook account, a personal Facebook account, and got shipping on it within the marketplace instantly. With marketplaces and shops getting almost no traffic, I decided as an experiment just to make a brand new account like I did a long time ago when I made a second account and tried to see how long it would take to get shipping on it. That's exactly what I was gonna do with this. And I was gonna prep it for shops in the future and let them season slowly for a couple months and then open them up suddenly and see if they got massive traffic. In that process, two days ago, I created the new Facebook account. Fake name, fake email address, which I had to make an email address, all that. But either way, none of the information actually pertains to me. They're made up names, all that. Right after I created that Facebook account, I made a Facebook page in preparation for it to be a shop, but without creating a commerce manager and I didn't open a shop on it. I just created a basic Facebook page as if it was a store. So it was, I, I won't tell you the name is of it, but it basically has like a logo that I created for it nice cover image I'd already made a couple posts started you know posting a meme or two or whatever the page is only two days old but it had like five posts on it I ran an ad campaign to start getting likes to it so it's only got like 10 likes but it was from 10 to, it was two, two days ago and I only paid like 17 bucks for it to run for the next two weeks so not very much money per day it was like two dollars per day or one dollar per day it wasn't wasn't much and then i started following groups basically just seasoning this profile in general for the personal and the facebook page that i created that way facebook just gets all these data points saying oh this is a real person who created something they're from the u.s they've got a u.s name the facebook page they created is obviously in english and all this stuff i don't know if that matters but um it's very obvious that i am it, or it looks as if I'm a person. I, I uploaded photos from a vacation to it. Today I started commenting on posts that were coming up on my feed, all that, all that stuff. No more need to explain that, I guess. So it's been two days and unintentionally, it's just I had extra time today. I didn't plan on making a video, but I hopped on here, just checked in on that account so I could, you know, comment on some more stuff and just fake interact with it a little bit. And then I opened up Marketplace because I was just curious. I'm like, hey, will I get shipping? Will I be one of those lucky few? Which I don't even know if that's still a thing people get instantly anymore. But I opened up Marketplace and created a listing. I was like, you know what? I've got an old video game. Let me actually try to sell something locally. It's Fallout and um, see if I can start the process of maybe seasoning my Marketplace account because I know on the last account I made, it took like two months for me to notice that I had shipping and I definitely didn't have it right away. I had to list things, sell it, and then I could list like three more things. And then after a week I could list five things. And it was just like a gradual process until eventually I got the shipping option. Cause at first you couldn't even ship anything. I had to list things locally without intending to buy them. And then I have to like fake have conversations with a separate account, act like I sold it on the other one. It was a whole pain in the ass. But with this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start that long ass process again. Hopefully I can make this video in two months or maybe less and help you guys out a little bit showing that you can in fact make a third account and I started I started taking photos of it and um, I realized just out of laziness that I'm like oh, I don't want to take photos and then have to email them or upload them to my computer and then save them there and then post them here so I'm like okay I have this iPad I'll just take photos with the crappy iPad camera and just list it that way. It's not like the listing actually matters. I would just and originally intended on going into my other account, emailing them or messaging them and being like, is, is this available? Would you take eight bucks for it or something? And then like just saying that, yes, I sold it without actually doing it because I'm not shipping. So it looks like I met up with somebody and they sold it or they bought it for me. I started listing it on the iPad and then I realized that the iPad let me choose a shipping option, but the computer, I was like, wait a minute, I, I logged on on the computer and the computer didn't let me choose a shipping option at all. But it did say that when I chose the category for video games, that it has shipping available. So I was like, wait a minute. And like, so I stopped everything. I was like, okay, let me go back to the computer and try to list it. And you know, I'd go through it. It only had the two tabs like normal. So I knew I wasn't gonna have shipping and that shipping option never came up on the computer. So it was exactly like, like I expected just listing for local sale on the computer. Cool. But then I'm like, okay, well, what about the shipping option that let me have on the iPad? So I was like, stop, pump the brakes, don't list it yet, don't hit confirm. I'm gonna go back in the iPad, upload it originally like I was going to. And it let me choose shipping, but it only let me have shipping with my own prepaid label. It didn't let me have Facebook print the label, which in this case is what I would actually want. It's the opposite of what we would normally want for drop shipping. But it let me do my own stuff, which is what you would normally do for drop shipping. So that was interesting. I automatically had that option for the iPad. 
weird. But I needed for this listing the prepaid option and I wanted to open up both anyway because that's what's gonna set up payments and shipping options for the whole account if I can get that shipping option like initiated. As I follow through with the iPad listing and I, and I choose the shipping option on here, even though it's still not on the computer, I was able to just say, okay, whatever, I'll cover the shipping for this one. I'll make it four bucks, which was the automatic generated shipping cost that Facebook said it probably cost me to ship this video game. And it initiated the payment process. It's like set up payments with your legal name. So then I'm like, ooh. So I put my actual legal name in there and then it got, sends me over to put in bank information. I'm like, yes, because on the computer, it wasn't gonna let me do this. It was just gonna let me sell something locally, but I got completely different results on the iPad. Same account, doesn't make any sense. I don't know if there's a loophole or if you guys already know this exists, but I've never bothered to even try this. So I'm like, ooh, this is kind of kind of cool. And um, it let me set up payments. It let me put in a bank account information. And once I put in the bank account information, it opened up the other shipping option too for letting, it, uh, letting me do the Facebook prepaid label from the customer. So they add the shipping cost and then Facebook emails me a PDF shipping label that I'll tape to a box if somebody ever actually buys this thing. But I was just trying to season this and get it, get some listings on there locally, just to like let it bake in the system that I'm real, like I'm a real person. And I went ahead and followed through with it, hit submit, and now I've got this game. It's the only and first, first and only listing I've put on this brand new account I created two days ago. It's available for sale. I checked it on my phone. I logged in with a different account, searched the exact title, first um, one to pop up, probably because it's listed close to me. It says it, it says I can add it to my cart. The buy now button is blue and it says it's available for shipping. So I created a brand new account with fake information on the same computer. I didn't even bother using VPN crap or whatever. Like I literally did nothing to try to do it other than post, add to groups, whatever. Shipping available just from this weird little process of doing it on the iPad versus the computer. And now, I'm assuming I can start drop shipping on this account. I don't know if I will. I might still just let it sit and put some normal listings on there, but as far as I know, right now I have the shipping option. So literally just minutes ago, got shipping on a brand new account that I didn't anticipate getting shipping on for at least a month or two. Hope it works for you if you are somebody who's like, man, I kind of want to make another account because what's cool about having another whole Facebook account is that's business managers, commerce managers, like it opens up for multiple more shops that are brand new and not on the system already. It opens up for marketplace to be a fresh marketplace that Facebook might throw, you know, algorithm God love at. So I'm excited to see what happens from this. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you're interested in Facebook automation or booking a call to get an Amazon store or something, I got a link in the description to talk to Jared about that. Um, remember, it's a hefty upfront cost, but it's passive income once it starts going. You ROI fairly quickly, and I've got like three or four of them going on right now, and I'm loving it. Also, FB and Fox down in the description if you're still looking into Facebook, just software automation on the in-between side, if you want to do everything yourself but do it better, FBM Fox down in the description as well. And if you're looking to join the VIP group where I give away products, there's no spam. I'm a lot more active in there and it's an overall better experience. That is down in the description as well. It is a monthly subscription fee, but then you get in there and it's just a lot better community to learn all of these things and get a lot better toss around ideas. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.